All right, guys, hey, what's up? We're here going on another shed hunt. Today, we have a very um, special guest with us. Andrew, Andy Too Good is his Instagram <laughs> handle. This is my <laughs> lifelong buddy. We grew up together playing baseball. Yes, sir. And uh, he hasn't ever been shed hunting. We went one time when I was first starting, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Uh, so now we're gonna go up and see what we can find you got any you got a good feeling about today yeah i just hope my legs are ready for this this will be pretty intense so pray, <laughs> pray for me pray for him we made it to the summit andrew's hitting his first summit ever how's it feel <laughs> andrew's trying to make it through without going down He's on my track, so. I never said climbing Everest would be easy. <laughs> yes. Definitely not easy, but we're gonna keep trekking. Andrew's smart, he hooked around the tree. I didn't do that. We you grab my glasses? They're in the snow right there. Yeah. <laughs> Quick sand. Styling up here on the mountain, man. Looking like I'm going to a rave. Said I'm... We're having a rave up here on top of the mountain, y'all. This is what it pays to be a four legged creature, man. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Quick sand. Well, guys, we found a shed. I was coming up. Kind of back, I'd already gone down. I came back up through the mahogany trees and I looked up and I could see something that looked almost like a rock. Couldn't tell for sure. And when I came up, I confirmed it was a little moose paddle laying there. Pretty cool. Nothing crazy, nothing worth much, but it it's fun to find antlers and be out walking around in the woods. We'll get Andrew up here to pick it up. Do you see it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a monster. Nice. Look at that plane. You can have the honors of picking it up. The first. The first shed for Andrew in the wild. An absolute. A funky. Ginormous paddle. Look at you got a little funky kicker to it. You literally like oh. walk on. <laughs> so any anybody who goes up in the mountains, especially the Wasatch Front, um, has had experiences where the grouse jump out and scare the crap out of you. Well, Andrew here, he just had his first experience at it. Tell us, how was it? Well, <laughs> let's just say that I'm not a fan of birds anymore. No. <laughs> it scared the hell out of me. Andrew had, Andrew had three of them. It flew Fla right over my head, and it was, it was one of the, I didn't even know what to do. Just <laughs> out of nowhere. Flew right over his head, a couple feet over his head. I almost rolled down the cliff, somersault. <laughs> and then, while well, that was happening, right over in that big opening, I glassed up two muley sheds. Looks like a four-point set. I'll put the binos up and to the camera and see if you could see them. Right there in the middle of the screen, see those two white things? <laughs> two little four points so I'm gonna probably come up here tomorrow after work maybe Andrew will come with me again and we will grab them yeah another adventure another adventure all right guys so it's uh the next day Andrew didn't he couldn't make it up today he said he was a little sore after the hike so I came up after work to grab that set of deer sheds I glassed up we just didn't have enough time to get to them last night and we did see the elk we saw four bulls uh, yesterday night they all were packing still they were just little guys so probably not the best area to come to they come through here but probably not a good spot for the big bulls but it's all process of you know process of elimination so now I'm just kind of working these trees and I'm about to go over and pick these deer sheds up. So hopefully they're brown. I couldn't tell, at least hard white. 
but regardless of that, it'll be cool to pick them up. So I could, when I was over there, I could see this orange thing in the brush, and that's what I used for my marker because the the sheds are should be just right over there. But then I'm checking it out, and it says on here, "Harmless weather instrument." Ta -da. National Weather Service, obtain weather data. Use this to mail, it says. Remove bag for mailing instructions. Huh. Whatever it is, I'll take it home and see what it says. At least get this, get the garbage off the mountain. Watch it not even be an antler, I'd laugh so hard. Hike two hours up, up here to not have it be one. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a set. It's a set, and it's a dandy. Oh man. Oh, that's a big set of deer antlers there. They're chalk though. They've been here a couple years. Heck yeah. It's a solid buck. Dandy of a buck here. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. Look at, look at that bad boy. Look at those deep forks. Good fronts. Very symmetrical. If that wasn't broken, he probably wouldn't have a deduction. But he's got that cheater there, you can see. And he's got two kickers on his left side right there but heck yeah would have been about about like that pretty sweet pretty neat too bad I didn't get him while he's brown but any thoughts on the score I'm gonna say he's in the 170s I don't know I'm not very good at judging deer, but he's definitely a solid buck. Comment below and tell me what you think. I'll get him taped out and then I'll uh, respond and let you know how close you were. Alright guys, that might be a wrap for today. It's getting dark. I'm going to head straight out the bottom and hit a couple of these benches where I seen those raghorns the other day, but we got him before anybody else did. And I'm gonna get him strapped on the SJK rail hauler. I love this pack, for shed hunting especially. And uh, get him on the pack and head out. Well that sucks. I was putting the antlers on the pack and I bent over, and these are my crummy pants. And I freaking ripped them, look at that. You probably don't care to see that, but <laughs> I had them stitched up and I guess I didn't do a very well, good job but my other pants were dirty from yesterday because Andrew wore mine plus I had my other pair on so I wore my crummy ones today so hopefully none of this oak brush that I have to go through is going to be stabbing me on the way out wish me luck